Hi, this is John Craig with Performance Plus Tennis, and today I'm gonna to be teaching you how to improve your tennis skills from home, part two. Be sure to check out my other videos here on the YouTube channel on how to improve your tennis skills at home. And if you stick around until the end of today's video, I have a free gift for you that's not only gonna help you improve your skills at home, it's going to help you really understand and improve all the fundamental skills you need to know to achieve your full potential in tennis. What I want you to do is start to focus on the key elements of each stroke and isolate just working on your forehand first and then your backhand. And this is a great time to work on the feel of your strokes. So what I'm going to do is I am going to close my eyes and I'm going to practice my strokes. And I'm practicing the key elements. Great ready position. Feeling a good unit turn with the left hand really helping me here. Separating the hand and getting a good stretch out towards the contact. Taking the hand away and bringing the swing to contact. Extending and finishing. And I'm just gonna do three strokes here. And then we're gonna see if I can feel where my contact is. And if I can hold balance, and I'm good in a good position here, and I found my contact. And I would say, yes, I did. So a lot of things you can do at home that really help you that you can't do on the court are practice things like this, like the feel of your strokes. And you can really, through repetition and feel and closing your eyes and enhancing what you're doing, you can actually replace bad habits with good habits that will start to reveal themselves when you get back up on the court. So, if you take this in sequence, I would just focus on feeling the preparation, feeling the setup to play the ball, feeling the swing into contact, and then feeling the extension, and then feeling the finish. And then work on those different stages and do those with your eyes shut. One, two, three, four, five. And then just put it together in a nice fluid movement with your eyes shut, envisioning seeing a ball coming in, and you're just feeling your stroke take that ball away. And then repeat that same pattern on the backhand side and work on these same intervals. Make sure you're working on the different stages and feeling what it is like to play the stroke, feeling your stroke. Not so much thinking about it, but feeling it. Next up, I'm gonna show you a series of drills you can do with an eye coach, which is a great device for either in-home training or even on the tennis court. So you can really play your strokes and play through a ball. And you can work on so many different things with this. So I've got some great drills here for you with the eye coach. Of course, you can do these drills without one, but I also have a link down below in the description if you would like to get one of these. They're very useful. What I'm gonna do on the eye coach here is I'm going to work on lining that ball up, making my contact, and playing through the ball. And the idea here is to just feel like you touch it and go through, and touch it and go through. So a couple things I like to do is I like to set my strings on the contact point with this. And then when I'm here and I set the strings, I want to push the ball away without the racket hitting the frame. So I'm going to press through, I'm going to push it. And that causes me to get the extension that I want. So I set and I press and I extend. And then I touch it and I extend. And I touch it and I extend. And you can time it so that it goes back and forth three times and you can start to get into this flow of timing the ball. Oops, and timing the ball. This flow of timing the ball. and getting a nice continuous action. So you can see how useful this can be. The one thing that this doesn't really do, at least in this particular interval, is help you with your footwork. So I'm gonna show you now a drill you can do and you can partner up with a uh, the family member or a friend and actually make this a really fun drill where you're working together with the eye coach. My daughter Anna here and together we're gonna to work on the eye coach and work on footwork and movement and you're gonna see just how much fun we can have. So the movement pattern we're gonna have is Anna's gonna start over behind the cone. She's gonna go over and play her stroke and she's gonna recover in front of the cone. And then we're gonna, we're gonna be moving around the cone and playing together. And we're gonna time it so we can get that interval on the eye coach, okay? 
You ready? Let's go. Go. So we're building rhythm, footwork, and stroke work together. So it makes us a lot of fun. And of course, we can reverse the pattern as well and isolate the backhand. And it has a two-handed backhand. I have a one-handed backhand. Let's go. Let's see how we do. All right. So this is a lot of fun. You can get a lot of exercise, get into a good rhythm, good stroke work, really feeling like your footwork and your swing work are blending together to make it really feel like you're on the court. You can practice the skill of really keeping your head still and playing out through that ball. Head still, head still, and then recovering, head down. All of these elements are gonna help you play much, much better tennis when you get back on the court. Next up, we're gonna do some volley drills and we're gonna do a progression that's gonna help you get control of the ball first and then build from there. So we're gonna begin with a skill that I call set and play. So you're literally gonna set the ball for yourself, play the volley, regain control of the ball by setting it again and then playing it. And the goal here is to try to get control so that you only have to set the ball one time into your contact point to play it. Let me show you. So I'm gonna play the ball, I'm gonna set it, and then play it again. Set it, play it again. The goal here is to set it once. Once. That time I had to play it, get it back in control, a couple of different sets, that same thing there. This time I got it, got it, nope. So what I wanna do is learn how to play the contact point and get that contact point going. And then eventually I can get into playing the ball with the real volley, maybe get back to setting it again and playing it, slowing down, and then getting back into it again. And of course, you can do the same thing on the backhand volley as well. Set, control, touch. Touch, set, and then just go into your regular volleys, and then set, touch. Finally, I think you know what's coming next. The Federer Challenge. Here we go. Bring it on, Roger. Come on. So I hope you really enjoyed and benefited from this lesson today and the drills that I presented with you. Please subscribe to our YouTube channel if you've not done so already. Give us a like. Leave your comments down below and we'll surely get back to you. And if you click on the link below, we've got a couple things. We have a gift for you that is access to our library of lessons on our website, which will present all the fundamental skills and foundational principles you want to master to achieve your full potential in tennis. I also left a link down below where you can learn more about the iCoach and buy an iCoach so you can be practicing at home. And while you're on our website, take a look around. In addition to the library of lessons we have, we also have a world-renowned Sur Foundation course, and we have a VIP membership program that's going to be opening up on Monday, April 20th. So mark your calendars and take a look at that. Thank you for watching the video today. We'll see you in the next lesson.